In this video, I show how to set up um, an airport curbside parking. Basically, what we have is a simple network here. We will have a through lane, and we have another lane where we have multiple car parks or parking lots. Assuming you want to use a different vehicle for let's say one airline then the next one for another airline and the third one for another one so i just placed three parking lots what we need to do is you need to set up first just a static vehicle route going from the start to the end that is always needed for any car parks then we go select the vehicle routing and parking lot then I right click and then I basically set up for each parking lot a separate decision parking uh, decision the location of these doesn't matter okay here we will need to select a vehicle class for each so we can make sure that we will load three different vehicles so we can <clears throat> control the number of vehicles using each of these and we can also color the vehicles or do anything so in case you have uh, different kinds of vehicles this will show how to do it so we need to set up three vehicle types so let's just take this car one okay so this car this is going to be airline one. So let's just set it to car. I duplicate it twice. This is going to be the second one. This is the third. We need to have a separate color distribution. You can use different methods to color them, but I, I chose to do it this way in this video. So base data distribution color. I create one. This is gonna be car airline one. I duplicate it twice. Two, three. So there will be black cars in the one, red in the second, and let's say green for the third. I assign that. So I come back to vehicle types. Put airline one to airline one, airline to airline, and the three. So that's fine. We can go back to the parking decision. We untick all vehicle types, and we set. We need to select vehicle classes. So I just duplicate it. So this is gonna be. Um, I will just do three. And just copy paste it the names like that so vehicle type it will be so three vehicle classes each will match each vehicle type so each vehicle type will has its own class so you can do evaluation separately if you want it will make everything easier like that okay now we can go back we put the newly created vehicle classes we assign them to each we set up a parking duration of i don't know 30 seconds or 20. if you want to create a new duration what you do is base data distribution time and here you create like name parking jour airline one let's say you want it to be 15 to 17 seconds it isn't let's do more maybe let's do one minute to two minutes so 60 second to 120 second so that's fine we set that up for each
like that. We need to create a vehicle composition. So traffic menu vehicle composition. We create, well, let's just create one first. Airline one. So this is going to be car, car airline one. Speed is, let's say, 40. Is going to be at line two. And three. Okay. So we go back to vehicle inputs. You can just double click on it. If you haven't placed one, I just control right click. Oh, sorry. Let's select vehicle input first. Like that. I just delete this because I made it by an accident. So what we can do, we can put maybe, I don't know, 60 vehicle per hour. Vehicle composition is airline one. I just duplicate these vehicle inputs and just select airline two, airline three. You can do it differently if you want, but it just makes things simple and uh, easier to understand, I think. Okay, now we can start running it and see what I forgot. Uh, simulation factor, okay, it's 10, so we can see it better. So we have a green car parking there, two blacks arrived, another black, green, and they are using the car parks. So as you can see, it's quite easy to set these up. You can have less or you can have more parkings. You just need to make sure that there is enough parking for enough cars. Otherwise, you will get trouble. If you have more vehicles, then uh, it can fit. You can set... You can set... Um, Let me just pause it. In the parking routing decisions, if you just show list, if you right click there, show list, parking lot, or just double click on it. Here, There is a full occupancy behavior. So what you need to do is you click on the trench icon, attribute selection, and you can add this full occupancy behavior. And you can set it either to drive on or wait. If they wait, they will block the lane. But you can achieve it by adding more lanes and changing the lane chain behavior there. I can show you actually. Let's just select this to wait. So in that case, in that case, what we do, you can add another lane. You can just put maybe these connectors. Again, this is just a um, you will set up the way it is in your location. So this link is 177 long. What you want to do is you want to change the lane change distance um, to a smaller value. I don't know, maybe 50 meters. You just make sure that let's move these a little bit further up. Because they will basically start changing lanes 50 meters before that connector. So somewhere like that. Or I can put it to smaller. Um, let me explain why. So if the lane changing distance is greater than maybe this point, and if someone is blocking that lane, they will not going to 
use this lane to detour to take over the other vehicle. So let's just increase the vehicle input a bit. From 60 to let's say, I don't know, 200, maybe 100, 120. So we hopefully see some blockings. So let's just see what happens. Okay, it's not, uh, it is not enough. Let me just put it to 160. Okay, I'm going to reduce these this way. It will definitely happen. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, they can go around the other ones. You can also set up the driving behavior to keep the lanes checked, but I think that would be a bit too much for this video, but um, we can have a look. So on this link, we use urban, motorized. If you go to the lateral, if you use that, that should help. But let's let's give it a try. Okay. Yeah, as you can see they they do it. You can of course increase the lane diff and, and deal with these situations a bit more detail. Let me know if you are interested in such. Um Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any queries. And please consider liking and subscribing. Hope it will it help you.